Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Witchwood and when we left off we had most of the ingredients we needed to bring down uh, the bear and make him take a little nap. Um, but right now we need to go get some honey from the apiary here in the fields. So the apiary is going to be here all the way over to the left. Um, this is where we come from the forest. Uh, we, you just head directly to the left and if you're taking uh, the decay in uh, that's going to be here, and then you'll just go up and to the, the left, and it's going to be kind of like a little side area um, that you can only access from the fields. Now that we are here in the apiary, you can hear the buzzing of the bees. Uh, this looks like somebody who might be able to help us, the beekeeper. Heidi ho I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed? But I need some of your honey right away, says the witch. Sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago, says the beekeeper. Funny little man with a cart. You just missed him. Yes, I've met him. He's quite the quartermaster for the beer, but he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the lakeshore camp. The bear? Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much, says the beekeeper. I heard that that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from a larva if it sued him. My poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order, and they don't have any honey left, says the beekeeper. I wish I could do something to help you, but the only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty, says the witch. Why, my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, get on with it, says the witch. <laughs> my beloved queen, she's as lovely as she is wise, who resides, resides over her flowered kingdom. A shrill voice pierces the meadow and sends chills down your spine. The queen bee is huge. <laughs> Slave, where is my dinner? I ordered you to bring me the finest sunflowers, says the queen bee. Right away, my love, says the beekeeper. And make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasp, says the queen bee. Yeah, yes, my sweet, says the beekeeper. Hmm, I think I had better have an audience with this queen myself, says the witch. Uh, so yeah, let's head over and talk to uh, this queen bee here and see see if she'll have us. Oh gosh, these bees all want to uh, attack us. Can I talk to you? There we go, okay. I was like, without getting attacked, please. The regal insects looks down her curled nose at you scornfully. That fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the rabble from trampling my delicate garden, says the queen bee. Good help is so hard to find, agrees the witch, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to land a hand, says the queen bee. No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy woman, woman, so I won't waste your time. I need honey. Your best honey, says the witch. She tilts her long neck back and lets out a buzzing laugh. Ha! Huh. Do you think I simply give my carefully cultured riches to just any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this colony? Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. <laughs> In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this, is this marigold? You wax-brained fool. You know I despise this stuff. How many times must I repeat myself? Get out of my sight, all of you. My love, says the beekeeper, I have wronged you. L let me try again. You follow the beekeeper a short distance away while he busies himself picking more flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood, says the witch. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes, but it's really usually my own fault. Sometimes when she really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and smoothing herbs calm her right down. Smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. Uh, so we'll need the royal incense recipe. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we just got hurt because that bee was attacking us. Um, so yeah, let's uh, check out the royal incense here. Oh my goodness. Uh, produces a smoke to calm even the surliest regent. We will need a smoke pellet. 
witch spice and sporif sporific potion. So, uh, for the smoke pellet, you'll need frog slime you can get from catching frogs, forest herbs, which you can collect on the forest ground, as well as some clay, which you can get in the well. So we'll go ahead and craft that up. That is ready to go. The next thing that we're going to need is uh, the witch spice, I believe. Yeah, witch spice. To do that, you'll need a uh, hag shroom, imp eye nut, and forest herb. All of that can be found in the forest uh, with extra hag shrooms in the swamp as well. And finally, the soporific so sopor so potion. <laughs> For this, we'll need a jar of water, um, some leth lethe caps, which you can find in um, trunks in the forest, like cut down the wood things with your axe, a jar of water, and by nut. For the jar of water, we already have a jar, which we took from the bear's, um, the bear's house, like in his chest with his teddy bear. Um, we got an extra jar of water. Otherwise, it's just clay and some campfire embers to create that. Um, so yeah, let's go get some water. Down here in the well, we'll take our empty jar and we will collect some water. And then immediately we will go ahead and craft our potion. And with all of those ingredients, we can create our royal incense and return to the uh, bee queen. Now that we are back here in the apiary, we'll go ahead and grab our um, royal incense and ignite it here on the witch. Uh, click on her and you sneak do you honestly believe that your little puff achoo, smoke can can the queen fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull all around her who does anyone else feel a little hot anyway i was uh, as i was saying you can't just just the sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's, summer's embrace. My, look at all of these beautiful colors. Have they always been so bright? The queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling about her head. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh, and what's that delicious smell? Crackling into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Hmm, delectable. Oh, it's so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life. She offers up a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen, says the witch. Uh, the queen holds out a shimmering honeycomb to you, and you take it, which is the last thing we needed. Um, really quick... I don't think there's anything else we can collect from here. There's like weird bee, uh, oh my goodness, that bee's about to attack us. There's weird like beehive in the trees, which is funky, but there is a chest there. Um, can I talk to him anymore? The beekeeper has concerned himself with a floral arrangement. Well, we got the bee uh, queen um, a little bit relaxed. Relax is a good way to put that. Um, but with our honey now in, so we can head back to the bear. Now that we have all of the ingredients, including a metamorphosis elixir, something dear to the bear, which is his stuffed teddy bear, and a collected honey from the apiary, we'll go ahead and turn it into the brewery here and put in the ingredients. As you squeeze the honeycomb with your bare hands, thick, rich honey slowly oozes into the brewery's tank. Too sweet for your tastes, but then this potion is not for you. You ladle out a good portion of the writhing, tar-like substance into the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more, just for texture. And finally, you pause before dropping the tattered plaything into the brewery. A glint in its button's eyes reminds you of something, but the thought soon evaporates from your mind. You overturn your palm and the stuffed bear splashes down into the concoction. It floats sadly for a moment before becoming waterlogged and disappearing under the surface. 
With the addition of the final ingredient, the brewing equipment is sealed and set to work. Steam hisses from rivets, and its swollen metal belly clanks and rattles. Before long, the waggling fingers of the gauges and dials settle down, indicating that the brew is complete. You give a quick sniff test and recoil at the sickeningly sweet vapors. You push an empty wooden keg under the contraption spigot and crank the release valve. The brewery strains under the pressure and fills the keg with chunky, oozing fluid. It may not be the finest honey meat around, but hopefully that great raging galoot won't stop to notice the difference. So let's go ahead and take the keg and bring it over to the bear. Ah, Captain, I've brought you more honey mead. The bear swipes up the tankard with his massive paw and tosses the contents into his slavering maw without hesitation. He licks his chops, savoring the peculiar flavor. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's a, er, a new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Rah, you know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hayseed. The bear is upon you with frightening speed. He raises the huge mace in his paw skyward, and you brace for the impact. With an equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crashing mace and your head. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resounds through the camp. The bear roars furiously as his blow is magically repelled from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes, dumbfounded, as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha, that'll teach you to pick on us, you big oaf, says the sergeant. This has been a long time coming. The sergeant wags his fingers at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. The camp soldiers gather to witness in stunned awe. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably discharged for disorderly conduct, says the sergeant. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small cat. And another thing, I, uh... What's happening? asks the sergeant. In place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of a stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. You trans your transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it, so asks the sergeant. He scratches his head in befuddlement, but seems genuinely relieved. Hey, Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Says the soldier. Oh, y yeah, I, I guess it does. Well, what are you all standing around for? The camp's a mess. Let's get to work. So let's go ahead and grab this teddy bear, which contains the soul of the bear, which we need to bring to our goat friend back at home. Uh, it says you pick up the diminutive doll and brush some sand out of its fur. As you inspect it further, its head lolls to face you. Far within the glassy surface of its button eyes, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame, the trap soul of the bear. This ought to be what that old goat is after. I hope he's happy, says the witch. And with that, we have completed the bear quest line, which means we have one more for the first half of this game. Um, I am going to go ahead. Oh, let's talk to the quartermaster. What a relief. With the bear gone, we can all rest easy. I am going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Let's Play series. I'm having a blast and I hope you are enjoying it as well. As always, check out the description. It has a link to all my social media, including my TikTok and my sticker shop. But if you'd like to stay here on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. All you have to do is like, comment, share this video, as well as subscribe to my channel. All of that helps the YouTube algorithm get my content in front of more people's faces. So until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.